In 2021, almost 135 billion gallons of gasoline were consumed in the United States alone. That means the average individual driver used about 500 gallons of gasoline. Most of us know that gasoline is tied to oil, but how do we get gasoline from oil? In this video, we'll answer that by covering the basics of the crude oil refining processes. Crude oil that comes out of the ground has to go through a lot before it gets to your car. The ideal oil for gasoline production has two characteristics. The first one is that it's low in its specific gravity. Specific gravity refers to how thick or heavy the crude oil is. The thicker and heavier it is, the more processing that is required, and the harder it is to make end products like gasoline. The second characteristic is low sulfur content. All crude oil contains some level of sulfur. Oil that's lower in sulfur is called sweet oil, and oil that's higher in sulfur is called sour oil. The most desired crude oil is both light and sweet. In another video, Kyle showed us how different types of oil are classified. Check out that video in the description below. So how is gasoline produced? When upstream producers extract oil from the ground, they run it through some initial separation at the well site. Then, midstream companies pipe it downstream to large, multifaceted plants called oil refineries for further processing and separation. Every day, approximately 469 million gallons of oil are refined. A typical refinery runs 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, and requires many employees. It can occupy as much land as several hundred football fields. At a refinery, three primary processes take place, distillation, conversion, and treatment. During distillation, the oil is heated and separated. This is done in either crude towers or vacuum towers. During conversion, chemicals, catalysts, pressures, and heat are added to the oil in vessels called cokers, hydrocrackers, or fluidized catalytic crackers. This process is used to crack the larger hydrocarbons into smaller ones. Say crack again. Crack. During treatment, or blending, the elements are blended together to make various types of products that are usable as engine fuel. The final products are then distributed by retailers as something you may recognize. High or low octane gasoline, diesel, biodiesel, or gasoline with ethanol. So, how much oil is used for gasoline? The standard unit of measurement for produced oil is a barrel, or BBL, which amounts to 42 gallons. We've got a video on that as well. Of these 42 gallons, 20 gallons are used for gasoline, 12 and a half are used for lower octane fuels such as diesel, three and a half are used for jet fuel, and just under six and a half are used for various petroleum products. So if only half a barrel of oil goes into your tank, where does the rest go? See our other video where we explore the surprisingly far-reaching uses of petroleum. Thank you for watching. For more educational resources like this one, check out the rest of our YouTube channel.